Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today I am going to be showing you how to take a Snickers bar. Is that upside down? Yeah, that's upside down. Uh, a Snickers bar like this, um, I love them. This is probably my favourite chocolate bar in the whole wide world. I've made homemade Snickers before, but I feel like getting drunk tonight. So I'm going to make a Snickers cocktail. And the good thing is, I don't even need a Snickers. I can just eat that alongside it. Well, Okay, so all the ingredients you need are right behind me. Do you want to see what they are? Yeah? Okay, so hit pause on the video now and write them all down. So the first thing we've got is some ice in a bag like so. I don't know why I bought that. Why did I buy you? Uh, whoever invented that actually, um, ice in a freezer bag is very a rich person because obviously you can just make it in the freezer but it's all good. So you can crush it up if you want or you can have it thick and chunky. Completely up to you. And we've got ourselves, oh my god Barry, you got peanut butter? Uh, this is all smooth peanut butter. You can go for the crunchy nut one if you bit want a bit more texture in there. But I don't really want a, a cocktail with nuts in it. I want it nice and smooth. It's still going to get that real nutty flavour from it. And yes, being English, we still can get peanut butter, Barry. Okay, chocolate syrup, innocent chocolate syrup, you know, what you put on ice cream and stuff like that. Just a little bit of that, just to remove a teeny bit of the alcoholic content. Keep it chocolatey. Okay, alcohol. Vodka, we have got vodka, and luckily it is recycling day tomorrow, so Mrs. Barry will not be upset if I use the whole bottle. There's not much left anyway. Okay, last but not least. We have got some chocolate liqueur. Now, if you can get something called creme de cacao, they do it in white and also brown as well for the chocolate. Um, you can use that as an alternative, but I'm just gonna use some chocolate liqueur because it's easier to get hold of. Um, in the UK supermarkets, trying to get the creme de cacao or caca, or khaki, as the lady in the shop said, really hard to get hold of. So I'm just gonna stick some chocolate liqueur, shove it all together in a glass, shake it up like this, and we're gonna be away. Let's get going. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so to make this cocktail, grab yourself a little Snickers and put it up in the top corner just for confidence. Grab yourself a cocktail shaker base, which looks scarily like an urn. Maybe it's a sign, I don't know. Let's start to add some stuff in there. Wicked. Okay, so the first thing that's going in is a 30ml shot of vodka. Cho choing in that goes. Okay, so now I'm adding in my chocolate liqueur, like so. Um, as I said, if you've got that creme de cacao, that's going to make it taste even better. You'd have one shot of white, one shot of brown, but as it is, I'm doubling up. That's two ounces actually if you're in America, or 60 mils, all good. Okay, so we need to stem the flow of the alcohol going in there. So I've got some chocolate syrup, just to squirt around about a teaspoon in there. That'll do, amazing. And now we're gonna finish it off with our peanut butter and ice, ice baby. Okay, so the peanut butter, that's a tablespoon there. I'm gonna put two in, just gonna plonk it in. As you can see, it is quite thick, so we're gonna need to shake it really vigorously to break it down. Alternatively, I guess you could use a food blender. So this one's going in as well. Oh wow, I'll show you inside this in just a minute. Okay, so as we approach the cocktail shaker, looking in there, wow, that does look like something your dog might do in the park, I'm not gonna lie to you. So we need to mix it up with our ice. We're gonna shake it away. I'm doing that hand movement again, I apologize about that. We're gonna shake it up, get it nice and nice cold, and that'll be ready to drink, baby. Wow! Okay, so to measure the ice, I've just got the glass, I'm gonna serve it in, filled it to the top, and I'm just gonna pour that in, like so. Oh wow, it all went in, I thought it was gonna go everywhere. Right, now we get the lid on this, and shake it up. Okay guys, I'm no Tom Cruise in cocktail, I'm not gonna do the old flip you on the back, you know, sort of thing like that, I'm just gonna shake it, okay? That's, that's what I'm gonna do, and that's what most ordinary people hopefully will do, okay? Hope, I'm not alone, am I? Okay, so we're just gonna get the lid on it, cha-ching. We're gonna get it made nice and sealed, make sure that bit's on, otherwise there's gonna be liquid spurting out everywhere, which again is not a sexual reference, but I do apologize. You shake it up, and as the ice is in there, this is gonna get really cold, so make sure your hands don't stick to it, or your tongue, like in that film Dumb and Dumber, and like that. Okay, that was a bad idea, but you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna shake. getting cold now. Does this look rude? Does this look rude? Okay, wow, that's been five minutes and I've shooken it up. Can you see how cold that is? That's like on Back to the Future when they go back in time and it's all cold and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's uh, pour it out. I'm thirsty now. <sighs> yeah, this might actually be hard to get the lid off at first. I just want to show you, it's kind of welded on, so you need to pull it off quite firmly. There we go, that's gone off. Now you could, I'm actually out of breath from that shaking. <gasps> I do apologize. So you can pour it in like that and leave the ice in there if you want. It's still gonna be really cold. Or if you want that icy chunkiness in there like I do, just take the whole lid off, grab your glass, and then just start to pour it in. 
Okay, so looking at it, the peanut butter might have all been dissolved in. That should be a good thing. Let's just pour it in there. Quite a thick texture to it, as you'd expect. Let's get that all in there. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is perfect. Now, I don't know if you just heard that, but Mrs. Barry just blew her nose off the camera. Mrs. Barry, I've got to tell you, when she blows her nose, <laughs> did you hear that? Mrs. Barry! When she blows her nose, you'll hear about it. Anyhow, we've got a cocktail to talk about right here. I'm going to drink that. And if there's some more, I might just have it. Okay guys, I've got to tell you, my hands are numb from that shaker and nothing else before you get any rude thoughts. Let's just have a little sip of this and see what it's like. Oh my goodness. That is a snicker, but blimey, that is a really strong snicker. You will love that if you like snickers. I really like that, oh my goodness. There's just enough texture. That um, peanut butter has all broken down, so it has worked, it's all good. Imagine what it'd be like with the nuts in there. You might have to try that and let me know. So, let's do some snicker shots. Okay then folks, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I want to dedicate it to two people. In fact, one of them is an animal. Snickers the cat, a good friend of mine's cat who died 10 years ago. He was really strong, so I've got eight shots for him because the cats have nine lives and obviously he's dead, so that's that. And the other one is Mr. T, who over here in England at the moment is like the, the head of the Snickers advert. You know, crazy fool, ain't getting no pain, sucker, and all that. Uh, yeah, I've got my Mr. T socks on right now if you're interested, just for confidence, but uh, let's finish it off in style and uh, I'll see you again next time. Cheers then. Peace, See you next time.